Hey everybody, I'm Kyle Houchins from Technic Trainer for McNeil, and today I wanted to talk to you about a new command in Rhino 7 Sub D called Radiate. Radial symmetry is something that's been asked for for a long time, and the great Dale Lear has delivered, and it's here, and I want to show you what it's all about. So, uh, just have a simple Sub D object here. I'm going to type the radiate command, you'll notice that there's radiate and radiate find. We'll talk about radiate find in just a second. For now, we're just going to run radiate and select sub D faces for primary symmetry assignment. I'm going to actually select a sub D and I'm going to pick this. I'm going to make, oh, let's say five. And then my radial center point is going to be zero. And I'm just going to make my axis go straight up and down. Think of the axis direction as the axle of a bicycle wheel. So that's the, the direction that the thing is going to spin around. And if we go back to the, the perspective view, you can see that we get five segments. Now, these are all um, linked up. So basically, if I make an edit here, it edits all the other ones. I can extrude. I can scale. I can move an edge. I can add geometry. All that kind of stuff, and it's reflected in the radial symmetry. Now, the cool thing about this is there is a second part of this command, which is radiate find. And I want you to notice that I am not on the origin. I'm off origin, so the first symmetry face is going to be here. The second symmetry face is going to be here. And it's going to analyze this part to say that, okay, there is actually some radial information going on here and it's going to divide this equally as it can and so what we can do same thing before we can just add some geometry to this and it edits radially as one would expect all right so it gives you the opportunity to be able to do these kind of edits am i the only one that wants to throw hand solo in here um maybe not Nerd. All right. If you want to change which faces you can mess with, and in this case, um, it it doesn't prefer you to mess with faces out here. So if I try and mess with something, you can see that it breaks. So stick with the touch object here, which is the light one. Um, if you do mess with something out here and it breaks, you can simply undo and then go back and repeat your operation over here. Um, this is something that we changed with Reflect where we had a touch and no touch side. Um, Radiate is new and we're in the process of working through the specifics of how it works. So as it sits right now, there is a touch and no touch part of this. So stick with the light bits, make your edits there, and then move on. But this should be something to get you started. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know uh, if you'd like changes or things like that, obviously. Being McNeil, we are in business to make you happy. So let us know what you think and give it a shot. This is the new Radiate command only in V7. Grab your updates. I'm Kyle Houchins, Tech and a Trainer for McNeil. Go make great stuff. Thanks. Bye.